Hey guys, it's Millie from MJ Rainbow Loom Creations, and I've gone super close today since this camera's about to pull. Since, um, sorry if it does fall in the middle of the video, in the middle of the video, um, be cut like that, because I want you guys to see a bit clear since I usually have like very fire shots and my hand is usually in the way, so. Yeah, I thought it would be nice if I could do a crazy loom video too. So, for those people that really like my channel, like our channel, sorry, I didn't mean mine, I meant our. Those for those people that really like our channel, we are going to continue. And for those people that like crazy loom and like our channel, which are crazy loom fan, we have brought in the crazy loom. Well, I have bought the crazy loom from Ride Art because I live in, I'm an Aussie girl, so I have to get it from different places, and I'm really happy I found it because I really wanted this for my birthday. So, yeah. Right, so what you're going to need is one crazy loom or a rainbow loom. It doesn't really matter what you use. I'm also going to show you how to make a triple single, so yeah. And I've recently just made... A starburst bracelet, the double one, these are glued together and made that with one loom. So, yeah, you're gonna need a crazy loom, of course. You're gonna need your loom hook. You're going to be needing one S clip. You're going to be needing the rubber bands. I'm using orange, yellow, blue. And purple and you this is optional you can add charms to um burn up this I only have five charms so I'm not gonna use it but you can also get these jewels at right art and right out from my favorite craft store and so it's spotlight so yeah I get basically all my stuff at spotlight but I get all like my tie-dyes and rubber bands and very cool rubber bands and the orange I'm actually using will be smelly, so. Come on, guys, have a smell. Yeah, have a smell of the orange. It smells like oranges. Oranges. And that comes in a pack of 325 S clips. You are going to start with this part facing you. You are going to get your first color. It's going to be my dark blue. And you are going to go from this peg and going up to the peg directly above it. Then you are going to get another blue and you are going to overlap this one with the peg directly above it too. And then go here. So you're making a single chain. So it doesn't look like this. So that you're not skipping pegs like this. So that all the rubber bands are connected like this. So you're just going to go from this peg to, and to the peg directly above it. And then you're going to go all the way to the tippity top of the loom. Alright, so I finished the blue row. And if you have a... F Sorry about that guys, someone's knocking on the door and I said hello to them. So we're going to go from the... So we finished all the blue. So we are going to go from the center row and we are going to get my orange because I feel like using orange and we are going to go up from this peg to the peg directly above it and then we are going to get another orange well smelly orange and go from here to this peg directly above it and then we are going to do that again so if you see how it overlaps so it's a single chain If you do like this new setup, you can please tell me, or you can tell me if you like the setup that I did for the Starburst. Alright, so you're going to go all the way to the end of your loom. Alright, so I've finished two rows, so this is what it should look like. There. So now we are going to go on the right side of the loom, and we are going to go from this bottom peg to the very top peg and want to just get some yellows and yeah and then we are going to overlap like we did 
last time, so you're not going to be skipping any pegs. You're not going to be doing anything like this, so you skip this peg. No, you're going to overlap it. And you're just going to continue this until you have reached the last peg. Alright, I've finished all of the rows. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be pushing down the left and the right side of the rows. We're not going to be pushing down the middle yet because you can't, it's very hard to push down the middle. And then you're going back to the start and you're going to push down every rubber band in every single peg. Alright, so now we're going to go back to the start and I'm going to use purple for my inside color. So you're going to skip these three first pegs that you see for an upside down triangle. You're going to go into the second three and you're going to be forming an upside down triangle. So I'm going to show you this again. So you're going to go from there here and then you are going to stretch it across to this peg. And I'm going to do that again. And I'm going to stop at the middle. So I'm going to just skip the clip and go into the middle. So I've reached like around the middle. So we're just going to continue forming our triangles. So I'm almost done. Alright, so you actually do do the last three. You have to do the last three or then it won't work. So you have to, you only skip the first three, but you do not do the but you, you only skip the first three, but you have to do the last three. So now you're going to flip the loom around so that the sticky net, so yes, just flip it around. Then you are going to get your hook and you are going, to, we're going to start on the yellow side. So what you're going to do is you're going to push back the purple like this, we're going to push it back and under the purple there is a uh, yellow so we're going to grab the yellow and hook it for it. So now we are going to try and hook the other one. So in there there's a mysterious, like there's a suspicious yellow. And what we are going to do is we are going to push back the purple. So let me show you. All right. So there's a suspicious purple there. So what you're going to do is you kind of put your hook in, push it back, get the yellow that's behind it, and hook it for it. Push this purple back, get the yellow from behind it, and push it forward. Hook it forward. Thing. Or you can do an easier way. So you're going to take this, take the yellow from the center, push the purple back like this, and then you can grab the yellow like that. You can make it even simpler. Sorry. So you're going to continue doing that until the top loom, the top of the loom. So I'd finished hooking the yellow row. Now we're going to be hooking the orange row. Ah, that fell off. Ah. Alright, there we go. So the orange, sorry, orange, 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 sorry. I'm trying to say it properly. So you're going to take the orange, orange here, you're going to hook it forward. So you're going to take your orange here, hook it forward. And then, and then there's no 
purple interfering. You're going to grab the orange and just hook it forward. And then there's no purple interfering. So grab it, hook it forward. Yeah, so you're going to continue doing that until the very top of your loom. All right, so it's finished the orange, orange and the yellow row. So now we're going to be hooking the blue row. So the blue row is the same as the yellow row, but the orange row is different, but it's easier. So what you're going to do, you're going to get here, you're going to push back the purple, and you're going to get the blue that's right underneath it and hook it forwards. So I'm not going to make this instruction, but yeah, purple here. See this purple here? You're going to push it back with your hook or your hand if you like and grab the blue that's right underneath it. Do the same. Make sure that your work does stay on the loom board or then it won't work at all. So sometimes it happens, especially with a crazy loom, so you're going to have to be very, very careful trying not to break your hook or trying not to break anything. So go under like here and hook it for it. So you're going to go to the very, very, very top of your loom. So I'd finished. Sorry about the camera. It's a bit blurry. So I'd finished all of this. So here. This should look like this. Do not worry. So let me show you. All right. So what you're going to do now is you're going to get to the top part. You're going to push down this middle peg because we are about to add about four more loops. Not four more rubber bands, four more loops. That's only two more rubber bands. And then you're going to grab this one and hook that one also into the middle. So you're going to both hook them into the middle row. And it may be trickier if you have lots of rubber bands. You want to have to put. Alright, so I have brought them all together now. So when you are complete, you are going to apply your hook into all of these rubber bands like this. Then you're going to be getting one color. I'm going to be using purple, actually, not yellow. Purple, and you're going to put it on the hook and half of it on your finger. And then you will get in, you're gonna, whoa! I'm gonna get that. Alright, you put it back in your hook, let it go through all rubber bands, and do this. Make sure you have all the rubber bands in. Then, you are going to take this two loops now. You're going to take the second loop, bring it over the hook, and tighten it up into a slip knot. Then take this off your hook. Take the little slip knot off your hook. Since it's the crazy loom, you can pull it off very fast. So, you're going to take the bottom of this big fat part. It's supposed to look like that. Do not worry if this looks like this. Okay, let's go. Whee! Whoa, that was fast. Because it's a crazy loom, it comes off very fast. Whoops. Sorry, guys, for that. Whee! Oh. Sorry, the camera is a bit touchy at the moment, so yeah. So here is the bracelet, and it's very, very long. So if you don't think it can fit your hand, it will probably fit my hand. But if you join, it will probably fit my hand. And yeah, I think it does fit my hand. Yeah, so it will probably fit my hand, but you guys can add an extension. But for this video, I will be adding an extension. And then you're going to be getting your S-clip. You're going to apply the S-clip to the loom, then open this part and apply the other end. And that is a triple single. Of course, you can do one color down the middle, two colors on the side, or you can even do patterns. Hope you and guys enjoyed this video. Bye! Oh, you can also do a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please request any bracelet.
and I will try and teach it to you. And also, if you do request a bracelet, can you please tell me what loom do you want me to use? If you want me to use a crazy loom or a rainbow loom. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.